Hello everybody, this is Scott Stewart, Slabtown Customs out of Mountain View, Arkansas. And today's tour is going to be of a house we built, uh, I guess just about a year ago. I'm just now getting around to actually doing a video of it. And this is uh, started out as one of our Dubber units. And the name of this house is the Tom Anna. And it is an 8x24 road legal, 13 foot, 6 inches tall. It is built permanently on a double axle bumper hitch trailer. Uh, here on the back you can see a little bit of a storage area. And I'm going to go over something I don't do on, on a lot of the builds anymore, but just a little bit about the build, the actual build of the house itself. This house is built on 2 by 8 floor joist, 16-inch uh, on center, about like a site-built house would be. Um, standard 2 before framing, full-length double headers on both long side walls. <clears throat> uh, you can see here we got a 3030 window that's in the living area. There's a 2030 up kind of high. Again, this is a double unit, so it's got the raised kitchen and bathroom. So that window there is in the kitchen area. We'll go around, give you a shot up around the outside, and then we'll go in. On um, this end, that's the living room end. You can see the ex exterior part of the mini split heat and air system. There's a 3030 window in this living room. And the loft on this unit is really just being used for storage, but there's a 2020 slider window in that loft. Around here on the side, we've got a little window on the side in the loft uh, just, to, just for light. It's not an operating window. Got our lap siding here painted gray. Got a three foot wide single light window door with the blinds in between the glass. A little bit of a change on the roof design here just to give it a little bit of character. Go around here. There's another 2030 window. That's also in the kitchen area. And uh, a shot here on the back. This storage area, we brought the red color in back here on these doors too, just to tie it in a little bit. And this end is the bathroom in and that 2030 window there in the bathroom. <clears throat> Go inside here and give you a look around. Again, this is 8 by 24 unit. And it started out as one of the Dubber units with uh, quite a little bit of customization. We've got some Allure Traffic Master flooring. This is waterproof flooring. Really, really nice stuff. Uh, one thing you'll notice different here on the walls and from a lot of our units, uh, we've got an eight inch wide butted boards and they wanted a whitewash look. And then we, we mixed it in a little bit on the ceiling. We've got some of the tongue and groove. And we kind of mixed up the, the whitewash with the pine in different places. Like here you can see we've We've got a little bit of a strip. There's two of those across the, the width of the house here in the living area with some inset can lighting. <clears throat> and you can see a mix of the pine and whitewash in the windows as well as far as the trim goes. Uh, where the window up there is the uh, interior portion of the mini split. We've got a ceiling fan light kit here in the living room as well. And uh, the living room is about half the house, about 8 by 12, so right out 100 square feet living space. And then the kitchen and bath takes up the other bottom section. We do have a full loft over this living area as well. We've got a little Ikea couch here under this cover. <clears throat> Again, with this being one of the door units, we do have the raised kitchen and bathroom, which is to give room for a slide-out bed. In this particular unit, we've got a queen-size slide-out bed. Comes out pretty easy, goes right back in. And this particular living room, they have a uh, have the little IKEA couch I showed you. And also, this is a table that actually flips up, has sides that flip up, and has little stools hanging under it as well. And it's on casters, so it's easy to move around, get out of the way when it's time to slide the bed out. Steps going into the kitchen area. You can see each step's got a pull-out drawer for some storage. <clears throat> Go in here and give you a look at the kitchen. Uh, like some of the Dubber units, this area right here had a, actually had a washer-dryer combo. They did not need that in this unit, so we've just got uh, kind of like a little china cabinet sort of thing here with storage underneath. Storage up top. The bottom part of this storage actually has a, a hanging rod for hanging a few clothes. All right, we've got a 10 cubic foot top mount freezer refrigerator. And above that we have a, a large toaster convection oven storage above that. Move over here, and there's one of the 2030 windows in the kitchen above the sink. We've got a large single basin deep sink as requested. Storage underneath. Storage under the, the cabinet as well. You can see the tow board actually has a knob on it. Both of these are that way. They pull out some storage under there as well. We've got a maple type counter block, <coughs> excuse me, countertop. Uh, over here we have the uh, large microwave. 
And then there's a two burner cooktop that's actually put away right now. It's not out, but it can be put away for storage. We have the uh, pine mixed again in here for the lights. Again, a pair of the uh, inset can lights in here as well. Some more storage over the loft area. Now again, this particular loft is just being used for storage. So it's, we actually don't have quite as much headroom as we normally do, but that's, everything's custom. Anyway, we've got a couple of the uh, can lights mounted in there as well, as you can see. One window on the end, one window on the side. There you can see the ladder that actually, you can grab that ladder and pull it down and it locks in this top step and creates a set of steps going into the loft and it works out really good. It feels real safe. Uh, pan around over here, go into the bathroom. Of course, we've got a pocket door like always going into the full-size bathroom. And uh, this particular bathroom, we do have a full-size tub shower combo, five footer. So pretty large for tiny houses, but we do a lot of those. Actual full-size flushing toilet. 203 window mounted above the toilet. We have a decent size sink and vanity with a mirrored inset medicine cabinet light bar above that. Come on around, we've got quite a bit more storage over here. We've got a, a pretty large storage area at the bottom. We've got a pull-out drawer there, some open shelving storage there. Another door and some more open storage there. Over here on the side, we've got a couple of doors for storage up top. And then this down here is sort of like a broom closet. It's narrow. Well, excuse me, it's not it's not real narrow, but it's not very deep. But it works out great for, for what it's for. So, um, oh, forgot in the, in the kitchen, we actually have a little dishwasher in here as well. So, as you can tell from this unit, most of our other stuff, we can pretty much customized to your liking and uh, at time of posting price on this house if we were to duplicate it as seen or make a few little changes we're going to be in the uh, in the high 30s on this one up close to 40 grand so anyway if you have any questions about this unit or anything else that we've done or would like to talk about a custom unit as always feel free to call me or text me anytime at 870-213-5310 or you can email me directly at ozarksbest at yahoo.com. As always, thanks for watching, guys. We do appreciate the support.